Cool. Na, kan je dan doen? Ga je doen, ga je doen, ga je doen. Was goed, was goed, was goed. Ga je binnen? I'm alright, you know. How you find the Ramadan? Easy. Yeah? Honestly. Yeah. It's the easiest Ramadan I've ever had. Is it because you are mentally ready for it? Mentally, without even knowing. Without even knowing. Like, you was looking forward to it. I had a conversation with Ali yesterday. Shh. Close our door. Close it. Mm, this little cockroach. You know, you're waking up now, man. It's, it's 3.30 and this guy's waking up It's almost up 3.30 and he just got out of his room. So again, my friend, close my door. Nonsense. Close my door. Go and sleep again. You know that's how you know from what I was getting to. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. So yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, he was um, mentally a, in tune for this one. Yeah. Yeah, I had a conversation with Ali yesterday, yeah. and he was saying this is the most like Ramadan where he's been the most at peace. Yeah. And I was like, bro, I never thought about it until you just said it. My mindset has been clear. Like this Ramadan has been different different yeah different what's up different mm. i don't know if i had an awakening i don't know what happened <laughs> Cause I but had an awakening, you know? i'd be so at peace yeah yeah and since we're reading the story of the prophets as well mm-hmm. we kind of just like putting a lot of things into perspective because with me when it comes to islam right yeah when people asked me yeah if i was a muslim yeah i've never said yeah, I'm Muslim. You know, just I say it just sometimes just to end conversations. Yeah. But in reality, I'm I'm the kind of person who's like, I don't want to call myself something I don't understand. True. True. Especially if you haven't actually looked into it. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of us are born into Muslim households. No, most people, most people in general are born into the religion of the family. Like, you yeah. don't get to choose. But you, you, don't, know what, you, but don't, you don't, but then you don't study it. That's it. You just say to people, yeah, I'm Muslim. I'm of Muslim. course I'm Muslim. I was born, my parents are Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. But there's but more to just calling yourself Muslim. Muslim. That is if you don't what understand. What are you practicing? You can't. Are you practicing the religion? No. Then, then are, you, are you Muslim? If exactly. You're not? You know Which what I'm saying? saying. Because in the book it says, if you practice Islam, then you, then you actually, you know what I mean? So for me, it's like, Right now, reading it and actually yeah. gaining the knowledge and understanding, and understanding it, it yeah. then I can go and practice it. it. That's it, exactly. You understand? You know what I mean? So when people call me, are you Muslim? It's like I was born into a Muslim house. Yeah, I ended there. Yeah, no, but when people ask me, I say I, I'm I'm Muslim, but I don't practice Islam. That's the honest answer because I'm not practicing Islam. Because you're not practicing it, yeah. And it's like for me, it's like understanding the stories of the prophets and all that kind of stuff yeah. just puts a lot of things in perspective. Not even just about Islam, but just about life. About things that are right, things that are wrong, yeah, what you need, what you don't, don't need, need, what you need to take out, what yeah. you need to keep. Mm-hmm. You know, all those kind of yeah, things. Yeah, you know, yeah. what will actually bring you good, what will actually bring you bad. What's a waste of time? With, What's you a waste know, of some time? Things that you, like arguments and stuff that you just, when you read stuff like this, you're just like, oh, it's pointless. It's pointless. Why, why am I even doing it's this? Pointless. And the thing that I've learned about it as more is the importance or the importance of acknowledging when you do wrong. It's true. It's true. The importance of acknowledging when, when you, you do, wrong. do wrong. Only then yeah. can you do right. It's true. But that's something that our mother taught us. Yeah, without, we were, without I, actually saying that it's, it's in a religion. She always used to tell, it, but tell the truth. Tell the truth. Because <laughs> she's like, you lie. She, she said, You're done at it. She said, the, tr- the truth can never be a bad thing. Ever. Ever. She's like, it might hurt the person. It might hurt your person. It might hurt but you. you might will be but, at peace. But the truth can never be a bad thing. Never. Because it's the truth. Especially when it comes from your mouth. Exactly. When it's your truth. Exactly. Then no one can ever put it against you or anything like that. You spoke the truth. Simple. And I recently also had that in life. Yeah. Saw the effects of somebody else telling my truth. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that also, while reading the book, kind of told you, okay, see, you could have handled, you could have saved yourself so much so much issues yeah, from, if it, the truth came from, from your, your mouth. mouth. Yeah. You know instead what I'm saying? Of, instead of someone else. Instead of somebody else's mm, mouth. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. even though the person would still be angry, yeah. you would have gained respect because it came from you. Yeah. Uh, rather than someone else. Rather than someone else. Even though you're sorry the same way, yeah, yeah, yeah. regardless of if it comes from me, I'll be still sorry. Yeah. Regardless if it comes from someone else, I'll be still sorry. Mm. But what you've missed out then is the respect now and that's a, that's the respect is hard to gain a, back and bro. it's hard to re- respect and trust both mm. of them them two are very difficult to gain back no, once now you lose it's like, it because now it's like next time it happens am I going to hear it from your mouth or am I someone else going to tell me now mm. you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's kind of like okay learn your lesson that's yeah. why I said acknowledge yeah. what you did wrong 
learn from it mm. next time make sure it comes from your mouth off. yeah exactly exactly no. and it happened in the perfect time of reading this book that's it so it kind of saw okay this it's, is now you you now it's like the let you, i went through the lesson yeah then i had the teacher so, yeah the teacher and now, and now, now you have the exam and now i have the exam, <laughs> exam and now i'm gonna see do i pass the test <laughs> when it if if it is to come yeah, in the future of course, of course, of course, you know what i'm saying course, the way it happened it was it was a good time the way it happened was yeah. the way it happened was like mm. okay because maybe because if you didn't read the book, you probably maybe would have reacted in a different maybe way. Maybe I might have reacted in a different way. You know, you could have probably wowed out or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But when you read the book and everything, and then the situation, you probably like it's not even that big. Let me, let me handle this. You know, like acknowledge, acknowledge. I messed up. I messed up. Because truly, it should have come from my mouth. It should have come from my mouth. You know. So that's why I say yeah. that lesson that happened for me. I'm just like it was a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I believe in everything that happens for a reason. Everything like, does happen for a reason. I, I truly believe that down to my soul. You know what I mean? I yeah. really and truly believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. Yeah. So, the Ramadan's going well. Mm. But overall, this Ramadan is it's going good so far. Yeah. I really had the mindset that this Ramadan I was going to use it to to really get to know gain my, gain knowledge knowledge on saying both of us gain knowledge yeah, to gain knowledge on the actual, on, on actual religion. islam and because it's like fasting it. okay people when it comes to fasting they just think start don't, and end at not eating that's it that's what that's literally what they think they're like oh yeah i don't eat and drink that's 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 what ramadan is no it's not it's deeper than that cleansing spiritual, spiritual cleansing, cleansing my g spiritual cleansing, cleansing. Really gain getting to know, knowledge, getting, knowledge, getting, getting to know, know yourself. yourself. It's so important. Getting to know where you came from, where everything started. Mm. That's why I said that I don't believe it should just be Muslims that do this. I think everybody should do this. Spiritual cleansing. Spiritual just cleansing, learn just, what you believe in. That's it. It's so important. After that, the power of fasting is a joke, you know. This and the thing is about it is that I also said this to um, Ali when we was talking. Is like when we when you break your fast yeah. and you and you actually eat that feeling. It feels like you worked for this. Mm. Feel like I deserve this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a reward. reward. It's a benefit. Because mm, mm, mm. the amount of time people just eat. Because there's eat. a lot of people that don't eat. So for you to eat, this is a benefit. Yeah, it's true. But how many people just eat just to eat? I'm not hungry, but you know I can eat. Boredom when they're like, oh, I'm gonna fit to the to just eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, how about go read a book or do something? Go for a walk. Something so else. Most of the time, you're not even hungry. You're not hungry. You're, just you're eating. De- no, you're dehydrated. But drink water, and I trust me, you, you won't feel like eating food again. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. No, nah, but I, I feel like we get this cape this year. It's different. It's Not different. Like you, it's different. It's real different. This year, I'm praying five times a day. day. I can't, like, remember, I can't remember the last Ramadan I did that. But it's not even work. Like no, I can't remember the last Ramadan I did that. Really, I pray five times a day. It's mad. It's mad. Even the temptation of lust. It's just usually it win. It'll win, yeah. This year it has zero chance. <laughs> Most like, I have dismissed, like it's been in front of me, and you just did, cause you like, nah, move, like I, I don't see. Satan's been whispering in my ear, yeah, saying, "Cool, so you can just do it today, just, you know, just, just commence your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast. Just... No, no, nah, of course, no, not today. No, I go in the shower, listen to my alpha, yeah, boom. I've been listening to alpha too. I don't even listen to music. Replace it, especially this is the time to do it. Replace it. And the thing I, re- what I, what like I did realize yeah. also is that, like, even when I'm on my computer, yeah, and it's in the background, like, yeah, bro, it's so piecing, so calming. I'm telling you, bruv, it's a joke. That's like, why I even said to Ali as well, yes, I was like, I'm gonna continue this, yeah, because the thing because like, this is it, it, it it's, it's weird. It's like, because I, when I'm writing and doing stuff, I yeah. like to listen to like slow, I like to listen to slow music anyway, yeah, yeah. jazz, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then when I put Alphorant on it, put it in the back, it's just like. Bro, it's, it's soothing. Like it's, it's just, real it's, soothing. It's, it's just calming. Do you know why? It's the word of God. Bro. I know he said the same thing. But it's the word of God. How <laughs> he, said, he, said the same thing. he said the same it's thing. It's the word of God. He said the same thing. He said the same thing. He said the same thing. It's not female this and booty that and this and that. But it's the word of God. He said the like, same thing. He said the come same to your thing. ears. How's that going to be soothing? You know what I mean? And I've, no, I've noticed this as well. Whenever I hear like al Quran, mm. automatic smile without one. Like I'm not enough. It just comes. Like I hear him it's just nice. And the thing about it is, you when know? you when you listen to it, you don't want to do anything bad. What? How you gonna do that? No, you don't want to, my friend. Because uh, or no, or only would you be sinning. 
But you'd be like triple times <laughs> ten, hundred times more silly <laughs> while you're doing it while the world's are kind of playing in the background. Isn't it? And you're trying to well, So either way, you just naturally just think good intentions. Mm. Just think good things. Mm. You just want to do good. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's why I feel like waking up to alcohol. But I do that every morning. Just waking up to it every morning when I'm in the shower. Play it. But that should be your alarm. I'm not gonna lie. That Sometimes be like... I be in the shower for a long time. Yeah. Next thing you know, half an hour's gone. Hours gone. Cause like sink in. Just letting it. Just, just deepen it. Go. it. Just letting it go with just, it, with the water and everything. Just deepen oh. it. You know. Yeah, man. And I'm, I'm trying to practice the thing that he was talking about, like back in the day. Mm. When they used to like read one psalm mm. and they will really like deep it before they move on to the second one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, like it's like, it's like, it what, we do, it's like what we're doing yeah. in this. We're yeah. reading the story of the prophet. We, an- we analyze it, we, we talk read about it, it we discuss read it, it, and once we get to a certain point, yeah. we discuss it, exactly, discuss it, like and put it into to, our everyday lives. Exactly. How we can kind of like reflect it on it and yeah. stuff like that. And I feel like Which that's is, important. I think I that think is what it is supposed to do, though. That's the way it should be done. That's what it should be done. It shouldn't just be like, let me know the Quran. No, I think I was reaching the lecture, he was like, just because you know the Quran doesn't mean like you know Islam. Just because you read it, you've just read it. But are you actually deep in and putting into practice what it's saying? Practice that, what you preach. That that is literally the, that's the most important part. The actual practicing of it, mm. not just reading it. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. anyone can read a book. Anyone can read a book. Anybody can read a book. But it's like, are you using the information the book's giving you? Yeah. That's where the whole practice of the religion comes. And I feel like the whole taking one side at a time and actually using it and really deep in and just saying, okay, I know how to say the words. Next one, mm. actually deep in what it's saying. Mm. Yeah, and saying, okay, how can I put this into my life? Mm. Do you know? Mm-hmm. And then you move on. Mm-hmm. I think that's the correct way. Even if it takes you multiple years to finish the book, mm. it's way better than learning the book in a couple of months and not knowing nothing really. You know what I mean? You mm. just know the words. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like taking your time with it. And not picking and choosing which parts you use. Yeah, exactly. Use the whole book. Uh, and the lectures that he's telling me to read, but whoo! Because obviously I draw a lot, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I, I normally watch like TV shows that I've seen before or something like that. Just in the background. In the background, background noise, mm-hmm. you know? And now I'm actually putting a lecture on, but I use my phone as notes in it because I'm not one of them ones just to listen to something and be like, okay, I listen to it. I like to listen, pause, really deep what they just said. Right now. Put it in my notes. Mm-hmm. Come back to my notes like every other day and read and just like, deep, you know? Mm. And and the lectures, but it's no, no, there's been some deep lectures I've been nah, hearing. Nah, some of these like, lectures I'm not just like, wow. Yeah, he, 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 we listen to some in the car and there's some of them I'm just like, whoa. You know, and the but lecture saying that, yeah, when it comes to the, the ending is the most important. Like, God, they're going to ask you three questions. Yeah, yeah, he told me that. He That's told me that. Three questions. Three questions. Who's your Lord and Saviour? Allah. But not everybody will say that. But at the moment you go, um, uh, you're done, bruv. No, 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 you're no, gone, no, bruv. No, but the thing is, there's no uh, said, pausing. No, no, he said your, the truth will come out. Yeah, regardless, of you course. You have nothing. You cannot stop it. No matter nah, nah, how nah, much yeah. you want to yeah. to lie, yeah, yeah. you cannot lie. You can't. Your tongue will not allow you to. <laughs> the truth will. No, imagine one time you want to lie. <laughs> imagine the sweat. <laughs> it's not going to be no sweat. Must I imagine? <laughs> it's not going to be no sweat. That's going to be easy, fam. It's mad. Imagine. The moment um, you mumble, you're done, fam. No, the book put a lot in perspective. Yeah. And the thing is, that what we were saying the other day, when we was reading that book, um, the story of the prophets, it's like how everything, how long ago this book was written, but, but yeah, all those things still apply till today. Till today. Till today, all of it still applies. Imagine. It's mad, right? It, it, like, it, I was like, wow. Still applies till, till this day. Yeah. Everything in that, I'm just like, mad. It's mad, you know, and, about, and the I fact, that, and the fact that all oh, everyone, the, all the arguments in that book was just like, oh, we need proof, we need proof. I'm just like, ha, huh. <laughs> you letting your proof? <laughs> if, no, but if the thing is, around, no, no, but need we, proof we, for everything. We read man. a story yesterday yeah? about the Prophet Salih, yeah, and um, it was um, the people. I think um, when he came down and mm-hmm. he was telling people to turn to Allah, yeah. And to stop believing in their false gods, yeah, blah, blah, blah. and they were like to him, okay, if he is so, if he's gonna do what he threatens us with, yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, and give us proof. They were like to him, okay, and the proof they wanted was for him, for Allah to um, crack a rock, and a camel will come out of it, 
A she camel. Pregnant with ten months. Ten months pregnant. She camel. Okay. So Sami prayed to Allah, tell him this is what they want as proof. Allah says, okay. Made it happen. Got the rock. She camel came out of it. Some believed. Some still did not believe. Of course. It just shows you, Musa, people, some just don't want to believe. They don't want to believe. Because they're like, well, if that's the situation, then a lot of stuff I'm doing right now, I'm in trouble. You know what I mean? When they think about the, like, some of them are like, I do want to move how I want to move. Do you know what I mean? That's why you... But it's always, like, I'm saying, people... Is, look, even say, from back in the day, you cannot please everybody. You cannot. You cannot. In, the, in this life, if you're trying to please everyone, you're in trouble. You cannot please everybody. Nah. That's why we always say like focus, have a niche or something like that and focus on that and do your thing. You know, when you're trying to do so many things and trying to please everyone, you're going to lose your mind. It's rough. But we're always going to have people that disagree with you, regardless. And it's fine. It sh- you shouldn't be fine with it. First of all, it's not your job. To please everyone. No. It's not your job to please everyone. It's not no. your job to, to, to guide everyone. It's not even yeah. your job to preach. You, yeah. just... Tell people about your own experiences. Exactly, and be kind, bruv. Be kind. But that soul needs Tell to be Tell people clean. about your experiences. Mm. That's all we can do. Exactly. And everything else, we'll leave it to. You know? I don't know the best. I don't know the best. Simple as. I don't know the best. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, we can continue. We can talk about this book all day. <laughs> right? it, uh, exactly. There's so many it's things so, I learned from this book. So good. So many things that I've, that, you know. But all of the, the most thing that is done for me is just opened up the mind put so many things in perspective yeah. there's so many things nowadays that I do not second guess compared to before compared to before yeah, yeah. you know if you need something boom that's it I give it to you if I have it I give it to you because yeah. I know what I'm going to gain from it is much more more yeah that's it I mean yeah. as much as I was doing that before oh, yeah. now we kind of put reason enhanced it now we kind of put, put reason, reason behind that's it. the thing I think a lot of it, a lot of it I was already doing of course a lot of it I was already doing of course, of course, of course. but I was doing it Unconsciously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's conscious. Now yeah. it's like, I do it, and there's, and now I do it with reason. With reason, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, of course. Because, like you said, we was already raised on on the principles of the Islam. book anyway, yeah, exactly. and of Islam anyway. Yeah, exactly. From our parents, from mum especially, mom especially exactly. We was already you know? raised on the principles without actually being told that this is what Islam teaches you. Yeah. She kind of just raised us as in the in the principle of it yeah. without directing. Yeah, directing like this it's, is religion. It's, it's religion. religion. it's religion. It's religion. It's religion. It was no, never that. It she was, was like, just like, this, this is life. how you be this good. Is, this is a good person. That's how you is what a good person does. <laughs> exactly. Not religion. This is just what a good person, person does. does. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I feel like sometimes the whole like putting religion on someone can kind of scare them away. Yeah. I feel, that's what I'm saying. I'm it not saying it's right, but I'm saying that but a lot of the time, just that thought of it's religion. No, but that's you're not. But you're not off. supposed to either way. Yeah, you're not exactly. supposed to. Yeah. you're just supposed to teach people what right is and what's wrong. Yeah, you know what I mean. Tell them. That's why. Um, I think in one of the stories, like, um, who was it? There was somebody. I think it was No. No. Okay. How he became a prophet is because he was teaching people about what happened in the past. Okay. He was teaching them about what happened in the past yeah. and the consequences yeah. of what happened to Adam and what all this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's how he became a prophet because he was educating people about what happened and mm. the consequences. Yeah. Not coming there saying, this Not is right, that's this is wrong, wrong, blah, blah, blah. blah. He was just like, this is what happened. This is what happened. Blah, blah, blah. I was the consequences. Situation. Exactly. Basically, educating. That's what he was doing. Instead of saying, you know, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book, he didn't shove it in their face. No. He was like, this is good. This He's is like, bad. This, this is what happens when you don't do this. This, exactly. How you deal about it is your business, but I'm just telling you how it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you from past experience. <laughs> past experience. This is how this it is. What is. Happened. When they didn't, when they didn't do this, this is what happened. Yeah. If you want to do right, do right. If you want to do wrong, that's not on me. I already spoke with my piece. I'm just telling you. Yeah. This is what happened when I did this. Yeah, it's true. like when you when you come out and I said to, if I say to people now when I read this book, this is how my mindset was. Yeah. This is how my mindset became. This yeah. is how I changed. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm not telling you to do it. That's it. I'm just telling you this is what happened to yeah. me. What do you think about that book? It's a great book. I'm not gonna say it's no a more. Great book. You should read it. It opened my, my mind, mind, made me see things much clearer. If you have if you time, want to read, read it, it, read it. Read Simple. It. Simple. No black. This is the book. You need to read it. You have to read it. If you don't read, read it. Oh, you can't tell things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just wrong. <laughs> That's not the way to exactly. go about it. Very wrong. That's so wrong. That's what I'm That's saying. That's the way it to go about it. On how people you teach. Yeah. You, you teach just by teaching people kindness and what's being good That's and it. what's right and mm. what's wrong. Blah blah blah. You know. But when 
you teach it and just put Islam on it based on Islam. Islam, this is Islam, Islam, Islam. Islam. Religion, religion, you know? religion, religion. People then think to myself, oh, I've been shoved Islam in my head for 10 years. Now let me go look for something else. Yeah, you know what I mean? Or when someone makes a mistake and you're like, oh, you're not Muslim. Or are you, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, bruh, yeah. that's not the way you should have done about it. You know what I mean? He's human. In the book even says we make mistakes, fam. No, the simple, simple <laughs> thing is when he created Adam, he put the they even the angels even asked him, "Are you going to put all the things in the earth with him?" And there's a come with disobeying. Yeah. He's like yes, yes, because there's room for error in a human, or else I would have made them angels. Simple as, <laughs> simple as. You know what I mean? So when someone makes a mistake and you just go to them, boom, are you not? He's like, nah, that's not the way. One of the biggest things I've read in this book yeah. that they keep repeating mm-hmm. is that repent, repent. Acknowledge your mistake. That's it. And then repent and That's ask it. for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. And Allah will forgive you. Simple. Most merciful. He is the most merciful. He's not like us humans. We we'll hold grudges for years on years. Nah. <laughs> he don't do <laughs> Allah don't do that. Nah, nah, nah. But yeah, it's right. You know, reflect, fam. Mm. Reflect and acknowledge your mistakes. Do you know what I mean? That, that has got to be my biggest lesson I learned from this. But learn from your mistakes. If you do wrong, I did wrong. I apologize. I'm sorry. And really mean it. Don't just say it, but just really mean it. It has to be um, the three things I say mm. I've learned from this book is. Um, and let me just say the bread is not even halfway yet. <laughs> I'm not even halfway yet. Literally. <laughs> you know? I was there we just, at the we beginning just, and we just, we just got, got to, to Prophet uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, innit? I, I, I need to, I need to this, this one. It's like 80 pages, isn't it? No. Or is it more? It's, yeah, I think it's 80. 80, 80 pages. 80 pages. 80. Whoosh! But yeah, I, I, I need to be there. The biggest <laughs> lessons I've got is yeah. repenting. Yeah. Um, pride mm-hmm. and arrogance. And arrogance. Those yeah. three things. Those three things. The consequences of it. Mm. Mm. Nah, it's good, man. It's good to really get in touch with your religion. You know what I mean. And the thing about the arrogance part is the one. Of, is the story I told you about the guy who said, "Okay, he went to he when he when he when he um when he died when the angels came to yeah. get him the death the angels of death." And then <clears throat> he went to Allah and said to him, Allah was like to him, "I'm gonna show you mercy." Oh yeah, and he said to him, "Don't Let's go. I'm gonna show you mercy. Okay, and I'm gonna allow you access to Jannah." Okay, and he was like to he was like to Allah, "Don't show me mercy." Yeah. Don't show me mercy. Yeah, 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 I want you to allow me into Jannah for the five hundred years of worship that I have given you. He's like, question. don't show me mercy. Nah, man, you don't question. Don't, don't show don't me mercy. Allah. I want you to allow me into Jannah for the five hundred years of worship that I have shown you. And Allah was like, you want me? You don't want me to show you mercy. You want me to sh- to show to allow you in for the five hundred years of worship? Okay. He said to the angel, bring me a scale. The angel brought him a scale. He said, place his five years of worship, 500 years of worship on one side of the scale. And then place the, 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 the ability of sight that I have given him. Just sight. Not hearing, not tasting, not just, walking, just not eyes. breathing, not anything. No. Just the ability of sight. sight. Place that on the other side of the scale. And sight, the was, sight was here. His 500 years of worship was here. And he was like to the angel, thank you very much. Tossed him into hell. You don't question God, bro. Allah. He was about to allow you he, into Jannah. But I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, one thing, and God can be merciful and say, you know what? Boom. Like what the one I, I told you about the thing in it, like the, the, God, the prostitute that God mm. gave passage to Ajana. Yeah. yeah. Because she fed, she gave her skin a, a, a dying dog water. God was like, you, rascal, here you go, go into heaven. Imagine. Most of the test is very simple. It's very simple, but we complicate it. As humans, we just complicate everything. It's just, are you a good person? The soul. Are you arrogant? He doesn't like arrogance. Nah. Arrogance is the worst. <laughs> Reading from this book, arrogance is the worst. Because <laughs> it causes a lot of trouble. Man. But that arrogance is the work of Satan. It's very simple. Simple. Because that's what caused him mm, that's it, to yeah. be thrown out of... Yeah, of Jannah. Of Jannah, yeah. Because he was arrogant. Okay, he was like, he was like, no, he, was like yeah. he was like, how do you um, 
give him a how human. am I supposed to um bow down to a human you want me to prostrate to a, a human to a human yeah you said that someone you made out of clay and you made me out of fire if mm. anything he was supposed to say to me mm. it's rough arrogance yeah it's rough Arrog- imagine you was in Hajjana yeah now you are sent down to earth mad arrogance is the worst yeah arrogance is the worst be humble humble yourself man be humble and don't take anything for granted appreciate every moment be humble appreciate every moment it can be taken away from you like that like that wake up every morning alhamdulillah I'm thankful what's that <laughs> be humble <laughs> Simple, 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 simple. You have to, man. Be humble. Acknowledge your mistakes. Mm. Now, I'm not saying I am the best Muslim ever. I'm still learning. Of course, yeah. We're still it's, learning. It's not, it's not, it's not, being a, and the thing a is, Muslim is a practice. And the though. thing is with this is like, people are going to think, oh, now he's going to start preaching Islam, blah, blah, blah. No. No, no. No, <laughs> no I'm not preaching to nobody. No. This is between me and him. <laughs> Him. I'm not preaching to nobody. Nah, 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 nah. All I'm saying is, it has made put stuff into perspective. perspective yeah, yeah. It doesn't it hasn't changed me. No, no, no. I'm still the same. Because you've always, you always had good intentions. I'm the same. In I'm, I'm the same me. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. I'm just a little more educated now. That's it. I'm the same me. I, I have never judged. No, no, no. So I haven't. I have never judged. I don't judge people. No. no. Now, well, like, that's why I was saying with this book, it hasn't changed me. No. It should just put things into perspective and just gave, put a reason to why I was doing things in the first place. It just enhanced everything. It just enhanced things. Mm-hmm. So it yeah. hasn't really changed me because, yeah. like I said, I never judged anybody. Yeah. I never judged anybody. I even feed the poor, try to help it yeah, exactly. I can. Yeah, exactly. My exactly. intention has always been good. In I never right want to hurt people. I never want to talk about people's business. You know what I mean? Mm. So my intention, like I said, we've been raised on the principles of Islam. Yeah. But without even knowing that it was, was even Islam. Islam. Yeah, exactly. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the book kind of just says to you, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I'm like, walking yeah, in the right I've path. Been, I've been doing the right I've been path. Doing, I'm walking yeah. in the right path. Now I'm just getting to know it more. Now I'm just getting to know it more. Yeah, just enhance everything. So there's so many stories, man. I'm looking yeah. forward to this book. Just, just finishing, finishing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but you don't want it to finish. That's the thing. When it books are there, you're just like, I don't want it to finish. Don't finish. Nah, don't you know? Want, I don't want it to finish. Because it gets so interesting. But uh, the one I'm really looking forward to is the one. It's what Ali said. Um, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi book. Apparently, that one is. That's a book on its own. Yeah. On its own. <laughs> yeah, that book yeah. is a book by itself. You're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to that one. But Ibrahim is going to be interesting. Yeah, it should be. But yeah, that was a topic we didn't think we was going to get into. Yeah, but you that know. took like, what, 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a topic on its own. Yeah, that's what that's. That's, that's like a, a separate podcast for itself. <laughs> Just talking about Ramadan and stuff. 